Well, tonight, teachers at Foothill High School, they are getting ready to protest just like others did at Rancho High School today. Educators, they are upset over what they are calling CCSD's failure to honor their arbitrator's ruling. Well, the district saying the teacher pay raise would force about $68 million in cuts. But as 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan explains, a lot of teachers say they are now picking up extra jobs just to make up for the lack of raises. Brian. And last time teachers got a raise, gas prices were about 225. Now, two years later, you can see they're a dollar higher, and that isn't the only cost that's going up while their pay remains the same. My car back. insurance, okay. my home insurance, um, rent. Alexis Salt says because of rising costs, her husband is working four jobs to help cover the bills so she can keep working as a teacher. She says it's tough watching him work so hard while she waits for the raise she and other teachers say they've earned. Get up at the crack of dawn and then work 15 hours a day and come home dog tired. It's really hard and it's frustrating. Teachers and their loved ones working multiple jobs isn't anything new. Jennifer Manning says it was her reality for the first five years in the district. In the evenings, I was a waitress, and on the weekends, I worked at a local tutoring center. It wasn't until I gained my master's degree that I was able to actually have a livable wage. That's why they both say the memo Superintendent Pat Skorkowski sent out this week saying $68 million in budget cuts were needed because teachers won a raise in salary arbitration hit so hard. It felt like a kick in the gut. To blame us, like we're taking these pencils and, and paper out of these kids' mm -hmm. hands is insulting. For many teachers like Salt, the raise they've been fighting for all year could make all the difference. That could pay for the bill I'm being sued for because my health insurance didn't pay it. These teachers who aren't alone, several other teachers I spoke with that couldn't go on camera tonight said they're frustrated with having to spend their free time driving from Uber or Lyft to make up for the lost money. One teacher even said they got their real estate license to make up for some of the money. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. All right, Brian.